Good morning, my friends. Wow, happy Tuesday. For those of you who slept last night, <laughs> hope you had a good sleep. I woke up to a thunderstorm. It was around just before three, I think, in the morning. And then, let's see, I was still awake. There was another, it rained again at four, and I think again at six. So I'm a little tired today, to say the least, but it's all good. It's all good. Um, thankfully, my daughter slept in. Now, for those who don't know me, that my daughter fell down the stairs at work and broke her leg in two places. And uh, anyway, her her bedroom's in the basement of my house, which means she has no access to the kitchen. So um, if going up and down the stairs constitutes exercise, like numerous times a day, that is, um, not only that, she has a dog and the dog needs to go out. So count that and taking the dog for a bunch of walks a day, except when it's raining. He doesn't like the rain. Um, then, yeah, I guess I'm I guess I'm uh, getting some exercise in <laughs> again. All good. So um, let's start things off with the draw. Let's, let's do the draw. So to get into my draws, you simply um, share my video. You share my video with a con so I get you one ballot. You share my video uh, with a comment that your friends can see. You get two ballots. And um, if you happen to be on YouTube and you share my video there, it's usually there later in the day, whenever I can get to everything. Anyway, when you do that, then you get, um, uh, you would get a, for those who, of course, aren't on Facebook, you would get a, a um, ballot there as well. So anyway, I have lots to tell you about today, but just before we get to that, let's, here's the name, and it's Susan. Susan, I am sending you some happy mail. Congratulations. All right, those are in the recycle bin. Um, so lots to tell you about. Um, the one thing is if you, if you're, um, not here on Facebook and haven't seen it, uh, world card making day, Stampin' Up! is having a world card making week special. And, uh, I will post the link that will open up, um, a PDF that will show you what's, um, on sale. There's, um, I can tell you though, there's a bunch of the, uh, all inclusive kits and I love those because I use those for thank you cards and quick cards when I don't have anything ready, which is kind of odd for me, but they're good for classes too. And um, there's some stamp sets on sale and there are some adhesives on sale. So I have my order in. I've stocked up on what I use a lot of. And whenever they're on sale, go for it. Uh, as a demonstrator, I also get a discount, so it's like having a sale on a sale. Great reason to be a demonstrator. Um, so there's the regular size dimensionals, the mini dimensionals, the um, foam adhesive strips, which I mostly use for shaker cards, and the tear and tape is also... Those are just some of the things. You, you'll need to look at the link to see the whole nine yards. Um, and um, anyway, so let's get to what we're doing here. Um, the, the, madam, 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 madam. <laughs> I'm here. I really am. So we're going to make a card today and out of the, uh, holiday catalog, I'm going to be using timeless tidings, a couple of the, um, images from that. I believe I'm using, if I look over to the side, yeah, I'm using the poinsettia. And this verse here, may the warmth of Christmas fill each corner of your heart and home. Lovely. I forget what I chose for the inside. Oh, I, I know which one. Sending good tidings of comfort and joy for the inside. Um, we also have a choice. There's these little dots, which would make a nice little divider between, or, or even like a, a border or just a line of sorts. That's kind of cool. And I like that it's kind of wonky. Like it's not like a straight line of dots, so it, it really suits the um, um, the style here of the images, which is awesome. Um, what else? 
Now, an image like this, I could see, um, you could heat emboss the image and then just color in the green and the red for the, uh, the leaves and such. Um, I'm choosing, I chose this and I'm just leaving it as the outer image. So go with that. And I also used, oh, what's the name of this one? I do know. I do know. This is, oh yeah, Climbing Vine. If you can, well, I can probably show you on the paper. I think you can probably see that a little bit better. This is kind of cool. You can use it this direction or this direction. It doesn't really matter. So it's a really great folder. And one of the new things that I talk about with the folders is when you're lining up your paper, if you can see there's a black line right here, that helps you line it up so it's straight. Now for one that's kind of, um, if it was one like the, the corrugated, this one here, where you absolutely want those lines going straight on your paper, you don't want them crooked, then absolutely. But I do use it regardless of which direction I'm going. I do use it. Da, 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 da. Here's the corrugated piece, and this is what I mean. Like, so, and I really just did this, this little strip. So I put the paper in and used the line, obviously, because I don't want my lines going, you know, wonky sideways. Not for this, maybe another project, but not for this. So that's the, um, this is in the annual catalog. This is in the holiday catalog and it's called corrugated. And it's one of the thicker ones, which means you only need one of your two plates in your big shot, not both. Um, what else? Well, let's get started on the card. So I've already have the stamps. Oh, I know, product of the week. Okay, so my feature this week is the Stamparatus. Now, why I left that on there is a mystery to me because now I have ink on it. Luckily, I always have some waiting in the wings. So, with the Stamparatus, um, these plates come out, and I'm pretty sure if I just move that down a little bit, you can see that better. So, if I was to create an image, um, let's see, let's say, um, let's say I had, I don't know, candles. So I could put the stamp here, that's in frame. I could put the stamp here, stamp it, and then move this down one, stamp it again, move it down one, and the whole, as, as you see, the whole thing. The beauty of this one is that these do come out, and I actually have four surfaces. So I have the back, the front, and the front and the back, which is cool. I have already, put my stamps on. But one thing I do want to show you is why did I make this little circle? Okay, and the other thing. Oh, by the way, in case you didn't know, there's new stamp, um, there's new Stamparatus accessories. So, which is cool because this, this is the paper right here. So if you're, if you like Imperial measurement, it's here. And if you like metric, it's here, which kind of works out great for everybody. I didn't learn metric. I was already done school. And yes, I just aged myself. So in this pad, and I like that they have have this um, in the book form, so you actually like rip the page out so they don't just go loosey-goosey on you because you don't want that. Anyway, there's 50 in here. The reason for this is <clears throat> if... Let's say you are lining up something. I'll show you one that I had done there. Okay, and it's stuck to something else, of course, using the Stamparatus. Okay, so if I was to do like a lot of congratulations, what I, what I had done is I used the grid paper and I lined it up with these lines. And then I put the magnet on to hold it, hold it down. So it works really well um, for lining things up especially if you're doing duplicates but it's also a nice guide in case you happen to move your paper by accident that you know you put your grid paper right in the corner line it up with those lines and you're good to go now one warning again which i think i've said before don't let these two make this magnet and the one that's on the bottom which i'm not using today don't let them touch now mine didn't break yesterday when they clacked together i wasn't expecting it <laughs> I wasn't expecting it, but it happened, and it does happen. So um, 
generally I keep one on one side, I mean one on the other, if I'm only using one, I keep the other one underneath, but it just didn't work out at that very moment, you know? So, um, okay, and the other thing you might be wondering is, why do I have a hole in this piece of paper? And I'll tell you why. Because, and, and, I'll tell you why. Because what I did was, Now you have to pretend that this isn't here. This is a solid piece of paper, so we're using our imagination. So what I did is I inked this one up, put that down, inked this one up, put that down. And then I took this whole piece over to the Big Shot and I used one of the um, I did a stitched shapes um, framelits, obviously the circle, and cut it out there. So for all of my rest, all the rest of the duplicates because I'm going to make a bunch of Christmas cards. All the rest, I know all I have to do is put the paper in to that place and it's going to stamp perfectly every time. Now, did I come up with that idea? No, of course not. I saw someone do that and I thought, oh, that's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And why wouldn't you? So I will bring in the ink. So today... We're looking at, looking, looking, we are looking at uh, Mossy Meadow and Mary Merlot. I love them together. They're kind of, I'm not going to say dark and rustic like, but you know, they are kind of pretty rustic colors. And I like that. And apparently I didn't shut that all the way. So, a couple things you want to keep in mind. There's a big stamp pad and I don't think you can see it. And this is a little stamp. So you have to be careful when, this is not open obviously, but when it's open that you not do any rock and roll, just straight down. You'll get the plate gunked up. Not the end of the world because you take whatever cloth you have, and I happen to have one that's got lots of ink on it, and you would just wipe around. And I, I, I did, okay, I got inky yesterday and that's how I know that. <laughs> oh yes, so now. When I had done this the first time, I didn't realize that I was in the second slot. No big deal, because it matches exactly. Now stay, oh, I didn't put this, see, I didn't put the magnet back on. And that will hold everything in place. Um, the, this will stamp exactly where I want it to stamp. So that's already set up. When you're testing this out, and you can, if you were to, well, look underneath on my grid paper. You can see that I actually tested it out is, you know, does it's not where it landed on this paper because at the time it was blank. It was how close do I want the point, the, um, yeah, poinsettia to the image. So that took a couple tries. I had one that kind of overlapped and went over the words and that wasn't really what I wanted at all. So um, testing them is a good thing. So anyway, so this is one of the new, newer style, new style, not newer, new. And I don't know if you're all in frame, so I'll move that a little bit. So again, I'm not going to rock and roll over the place. I'm just going to straight. If by any chance, and I probably should have just inked it willy-nilly just to see what would happen. If it doesn't, if I don't get an excellent image on the first try, which I did, I would simply, because this is right here, and nothing moved, I would just ink it again and put it over. But um, this is a new ink pad and I did give it good pressure, thus it worked. So that part's done. Like how easy was that, right? Okay, so let's bring in the Mary Merlot. So, oh, this is the one, you know, they all open nicely and for some reason, this one gives me some uh, difficulties, so. If you are out there, don't be shy. Let me know you're out there. If you're watching after the fact, you can still say hi. That's okay. Leave a comment. Oh, let's see. I didn't muck that up. Okay. Is it going to go over the word? Did I? Nope. That's really close. You can see where my previous stamp was way over. I think you can anyway. <laughs> over here. So basically, that's that's it. That is how you do it. So then you just bring in the next one. You're going to ink up again. Now I have the I have this one open right now. So I don't think you can see me inking that. So ink. So it's really tap, tap, tap. Don't mush. 
don't mush. You will um, end up making a mess. Press that down, up, and then go to the other one. Now, for the inside, I'm just, I am, well, I probably could, um, for the, per put, could put the sentiment on and do all the insides, but for the, for time, restrictions and such, don't want to keep you here all day. I'm just going to um, do these two. Like, ta-da. So, one thing I want to do before I get too far ahead, I'll close up my ink pads. So they close like a compact opens, they close like a compact too. Boom, done. And I just want to give this a dry. Now I just sprayed this, so it should be good and wet. So this is the um, Simply Chamois, and this is how I clean my stamps now. Unless I'm using Versamark, which I think I may have used on my um, stamp originally, thus it's um, stained black, but it doesn't affect the image at all. If it was on a stamp, for example, I'll show you what I would do. If it was on a stamp and it was inked, I would simply bring it to here, but being on the plates, I brought the uh, plate, or brought it to the plate. Okay, and close. That is the Stamparatus. Now these two don't close on each other. One has to be out. And I obviously still have my stamps on here, so I'm not putting it away at the moment, but I will set it aside and not to knock my light over. There we go. Okay, so let's continue with the card. And it's, it is a, I don't, I know, I don't want to give you like the most complicated cards. You're like, how on earth did she do that? And you know, I'm never going to make that. So, um, very simple. I will put the measurements. There's there's clearly not a lot of measurements here. And I'll put that in the... Uh... Okay, where's the white stuff coming from? I don't know. Hmm. I don't like... I just washed that. That's so weird. I didn't see that. <clears throat> anyway, so what's this? This is the bone folder, and it just gives you a beautiful crisp edge. And that's, I can't, it's kind of a must. So again, I use this. I think this is the second size of the um, stitched shapes circles, so that. And then I took, uh, this one's the champagne foil sheets. And I've already die cut it using one of the layering circles. And that's, it just fits. So you kind of just go with what there is. And then let's just do some adhering um, all right, so not popping this up. Let's so put some liquid Tombow glue. My fave. Put that on. Line that up. One thing about circles, and I, I think I probably say this every time, they're so forgiving. You know, if you stamp it crooked, well, that doesn't even, it doesn't really matter because you're just going to turn it the direction you want. How easy was that? All right, and then... I do want to point out that there's two sides, obviously, to the embossing, not rocket science. Um, there's the embossed side, which is the raised, and there's the debossed side. For this one, I do want it raised. Sometimes I use the other side, though. And check it out. Like, before you adhere um, to your paper, just make sure that that's, um, that it's what you want. Now, did I just... I did, too. How did I manage to not fold that evenly? Hold the fort just a moment. I can't, I can't have it not be even. That's weird. Very weird that I did that. As you can see, I do not um, edit my videos at all. Don't want to. It's me. Take me or leave me, you know? Oh, I should say. The reason why I did this is some usually when I cut the paper, this is half of an eight and a half by eleven sheet. And so I've cut this and it's ready to go. The other side is obviously the same size. Sometimes I just cut it and then I forget to make it the right size. So I do like to check that first before I put the glue down. Alrighty, so back with the Tombow. 
And I do like this because you've got the wiggle time. So if it's not, if you don't place it bang on the first time, just wiggle it a little bit until you have it where you want. I always pick mine up when I'm doing a video because I can't see with the bright lights in my eyes. <clears throat> the other thing we do is burnish it. So just take the back of your hand on the inside of the card and it just kind of squishes the glue all in place. So this is so that this was this is the same color by the way. This is the mossy meadow for the base and the embossed layer. And this is the Mary Merlot. So the plan is to put that there and put that there and then we'll see where it goes from there. Um, I'm usually pretty frugal with my glue except for this because instead of having you know everything like it there's these indents here that aren't gonna aren't touching so I go a little heavier with the glue see if we can get this to go this yeah, there we go especially the sides I don't want them sticking up mm. So it looks like there's still not enough to squish out because you don't want it gushing out onto your card and making a shiny spot because you don't want that. I'm pretty sure you don't want that. Alrighty. And then place it on the card. And again, we still have wiggle time. Now, I did have this, the width of the card. But with, with embossing, with this folder, because it's going like this, it's obviously making the paper a little bit smaller. So it started off a little longer, but it's it's still just to the edges, just before the edges, I should say, and that's perfect for me. Now, dimensionals. Let's pop this up. Let us pop that up. You know, it's simple and it's pretty, and you could easily, easily, once you, if you do it in piece part, you know, like have all your bases cut, have everything embossed, have all the strips ready, have the um, the champagne foil, already die cut you know and then the insides and then it's just a matter of putting it together so it's actually when I used to do like wooden crafts it was actually easier to do paint everything and then paint the faces you know and then paint that you know you just go one step at a time rather than doing one card at a time works for a video not so great for production so say you were doing a craft sale or something and you wanted to have a whole bunch of cards ready or any other paper paper product like this a project um, you would definitely definitely um, one want the stamparatus and two do it in the piece part method that I mentioned so there's the front of the card how pretty is that I'm deciding by the way whether or not I'm going to put some pearls on haven't decided. So while I'm thinking about it, and by the way, you saw me take the back off the dimensionals. I only take the back off when I'm ready to put it on the card in case I hadn't decided where placement would be, but I had in this case, so no biggie. All right. And then I'm just going to take a moment. Yeah. What did I do with my scrap paper? Hmm. 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 Apparently I don't have any. Well, let's just hope I stamp it straight the first time. No, I can't do that. <laughs> um, good paper. Oh, okay. No biggie. Here we go. Usually I have my grid paper handy. And the reason for that is so I can kind of eyeball it and know exactly where I'm stamping. So, and that I'm not stamping upside down. So I'm just going to do, do some practice. You'll feel better if you just practice, especially if you haven't stamped with the stamp before. That was upside down. Now we know. <laughs> oh my gosh, I cracked myself up. There, sending good tidings of comfort and joy. Love the font. So pretty. Okay, so. Oh, I was wondering why I had that out. Okay. I'm thinking with my well, Brian. Okay, no, we're good. And I am remembering. Have you ever done this? You've done the front of the card, and then you go to do the sentiment, and you put it this way. 
so it's you know the wrong direction yeah I have done that and it's a little bit embarrassing to say the least okay so this is the tree image from that same same stamp set right here this that little tree this goes with the card kit or the um er yeah, I'm gonna say timeless tidings card kit that's in the holiday catalog by the way I'm stamping off because I don't I don't necessarily want the tree I don't want the full tree number one and two I uh, I want it lighter maybe another tree oh if you do two you have to do three right that's the rule there I just want to keep it simple 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 what I make here is something again that I want you to be able to create at home at home now still thinking about the pearls still thinking about it so in the meantime let's glue the, this on now you notice I didn't check the base I don't think I checked the size of this but I think it's good so I do the same thing with all my cardstock when I cut it in half Okay, bring the card back in and oh did I say this already um, do you want to know how to get into my draws? Did I say that? Oh, well, share, share, share. Just share, share, share. I did say it. I remember. There. Simple and pretty. Not overstated. Simple and pretty. Let's just bring these out and see what I think. So, I have my Take Your Pick tool. Oh, I think you can probably hear the dog barking. That means my son is home. Oh, yeah, you just take the lid off. Don't turn it because you... Um, maybe right here, but do I want those? Wait a second. Do I want these? Nope, I think these are no, not the right color for me. Not the right color for this, but I do want the tiny ones. Just the tiny ones. So this, by the way, is my deal of the week. So every week I have something different. This week, so until the 7th, um, when you spend $105 on my inline, on my in my online store and um, use the host code, my current host code, uh, you will get this free. It's my gift to you. There we go. There's one. Deciding where the other two are going to go. So these are the, um, the pearl, they're called pearls. So they're the, uh, the white ones because you can get them in red, I think, and I'm not sure. Really, I did do my homework. I did. I just don't remember. Yeah, this girl's a little tired. I can see an afternoon nap maybe happening, but then they'll just mess me up for for nighttime, so maybe not. Let's see. Yeah, up here. Okay, just push that little guy off. It's a really cool tool because it just you underneath pick it up. Um, I have also used this, um, let's say, let's say you've maybe, this is not where you wanted it to be. I can actually go underneath, I can feel the dimensionals and just go very carefully underneath and it will, you can get this off the page, which is cool. And then you have this paper piercing tool as well. It's sharp, so I always leave it like this. And then on this end, this is like the quicker picker upper. I shouldn't quote commercials. I really shouldn't. You also get the extra end, which, and these, so you have the, uh, I think it's the stylus. So the small and then the large there. This little guy, and see, I'm doing it again. I'm twisting it instead of just taking the lid off. Come on, lid. Okay, so we got a little bit too much putty. Inside here, there's putty. You turn it a little bit, the putty comes out. And let's say, oh, well, here's a little something. See if this will work. I think I've had these here. So here's a little something. We're gonna pretend it's um, a sequin. And I'm like, okay, I can't pick it up with my fingernails. Or it could be, yeah, the sequin's a, a good one because they're so little. Anyway, it just picks it up. If you had a little dot of glue there, you could just set that down and Boom, there we go. But I don't want that because that's a star and that doesn't go with this card. So, and then I always put the end back on and the end back on. 
ta-da. So, okay. Um, I was toying also. Hmm. I wanted to see what this would look like. I saw um, a demonstrator in the U.S. do this yesterday. And I wanted to see how it would look. So, she took the Winca Stella. And if you're not familiar with it, it's this... Let's see if I can show you. It's just this little bit of sparkle. On my finger, it just looks like my finger's wet, doesn't it? But, dry that. Um... So I'm just going to take this. I, I don't want the sparkle necessarily on here, or do I? No, you know, I'm going to leave it. So what she did was, there's a there's a ballast or a little body thing here. So you just want to squish it until you see some, some of it coming out. And it is. And, oh, that's too much. Okay. And then you use your cloth again. Okay, but at least we know it's there. And then just tap. I should probably have something on my table, but I will. Okay, this worked in testing. Oh, there we go. Because I did test this yesterday. I used to do this on my wooden crafts as well with a paintbrush and a little bit of uh, paint on the end. So it's the same kind of thing. I just want to make sure it's coming out, but not. I don't want it gushing out. I don't want big blobs. I will show you closer. I got a few coming out. I think I use something harder than that. I use my scissors, yeah. Tap, 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 tap. I may have to put more on after the uh, video because I don't want to go over time. So, but I will show you where I did get some, which is right here, 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 here. And I will finish and get a little bit over here as well. because, And it, it's not going to dry white. It's going to dry sparkly. I will, I will do that after the video is done because I just didn't want to gush it out because yesterday I'll show you. Well, I can show you. So I think this shows up. I have to wait for the, I have to wait for the video to catch up, but I, I had gushed it really hard and I ended up getting like lots of dots, which is great, but I was testing it. Oh, I think you can see it. There we go. It caught up. Yay. Anyway, so that's my video today. Share away, comment, wonderful. If you like the card, let me know. Give me a thumbs up, give me a like. And I will see you on Friday for the next video. Um, it will it will be this stamp artist as well, but we may just um, jazz it up a bit. You know, we'll do something else. Well, of course, we we're not going to make the same card on Friday, so <laughs> that would be silly. Anyway, um, I believe I said everything. Oh. If you are in the KW area, Kitchen Waterloo, Guelph, Cambridge, St. Jacobs, New Hamburg, if you're in that area, I have a class coming up on the 25th. Should be a Thursday. Let me quick double check. Yep, the 25th of October. Um, you can, I will put the link to my blog, which is, then you go to uh, upcoming events, upcoming classes and events, and you can read the information about the class and see if that's something you're interested in. Um, being a part of so I do have space it is limited but I, I do have I do have some space left so if you're interested in a pretty card class um, I'm your gal so anyway I will see you on uh, I'll see you Friday again thank you and bye bye